A stroke is a dysfunction of the brain. It's an area of the brain that stops working because of one of two reasons. One is a blockage of blood to the brain or a bleeding into an area of the brain. And either one can cause that part of the brain to stop working. And that is manifest or is shown in the body um, with either weakness, numbness, change in vision, change in your speech, slurring of your speech, um, uh, or significant problems walking. A stroke really comes down to part of your brain getting an insufficient amount of blood. So the way I describe this to patients is pretty simply. Everything that you do, some part of your brain is responsible for that. If some part of your brain does not get blood, which has oxygen and glucose, which are the energy currency of your, of your brain, it, it very quickly stops working. And if that lack of energy, i.e. blood with oxygen and glucose persists, those cells start to die. So there's two mechanisms by which people have strokes. Either the blood vessel gets blocked, and we call that an ischemic stroke, so an insufficient amount of blood gets to some part of the brain, or one of the blood vessels bursts, and then no blood gets to that part of the brain. Then, essentially, if we cannot get blood flow to that part of the brain, which has its oxygen and glucose needs, those cells, as I've said, start to die, and then those deficits that the person is experiencing, based on the part of the brain that's not getting adequate oxygen and glucose, then you know, that persists and that's what we call a stroke. Strokes are called strokes because they strike people down suddenly, okay? So your normal one minute, five minutes later, you're not doing something. Moving, seeing, speaking, feeling, you're not able to do that suddenly. I also relate to patients that strokes do not hurt, okay? You can be, you know, sitting on the couch, you can be up walking, okay? And then all of a sudden you'll notice some function isn't working right. You can't see to one side. You can't lift up your arm. Your arm feels numb, okay? But it's not, it doesn't hurt. Unfortunately, with strokes, unless it's a major one, which can certainly happen where you become hemiparetic or not moving one side of your body, or your speech gets funny, which is highly obvious, but it could be just your arm feels numb, or it feels heavy, or your vision is funny to one side. Those things do not hurt typically, okay? And so somebody will sit there and say, well, it doesn't hurt, I don't wanna to go to the ED. The bottom line is if you show up to the ED and you say, hey, I can't do move, I can't, my arm feels fun, and they diagnose or think it's a stroke, you're taken straight back. So there isn't a big delay. The bottom line with stroke, the sooner you get in to deal with it, the better chance you have of a good outcome. A lot of what we do with acute stroke is trying to get the word out. If you've got sudden deficits, can't see, move, speak, or feel, and all of a sudden that occurs and you don't have a good reason for that, you immediately come in. Call 911, get your family, you come in right away, there's lots we can do. And that's, from an acute stroke standpoint, that's my main message. If all of a sudden you can't do something, don't sit on the couch, please come in right away and let us be the ones to make the call as to what we need to do.